Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming and welcome to another episode on Fire Emblem Heroes. I would like to apologize for the late posting as I was away to a land with limited access to internet. In this episode, we will be looking at the new hero from the latest Grand Hero Battle, Lloyd, White Wolf, a skilled swordsman belonging to the Black Fangs. Lloyd is one of the four most elite warriors in the group alongside Ursula and two others. His basic stats total is 158 and by equipping his best weapon, his total rating will be at a high 174. Lloyd's speed is very high at a staggering 35 followed by his attack at 32. Not to mention, his resistance is considerably high too. He wields a unique sword, Regal Blade. It has a might of 16 and an added ability that grants him a plus 2 on attack and speed when combat starts if foe has full HP, increasing his chances of making a follow-up attack and dealing more damage. His passive skill at B is Pass. As long as his HP is 25% or more, he gets to walk through foes and attack their weaker unit that is hiding behind those human walls. As for his passive C, he has threatened attack which inflicts a minus 5 penalty on foes attack within 2 spaces of him at the start of each turn. Lloyd's special is Iceberg that boosts damage dealt by 50% of his resistance. As you know, his resistance is 30 which will translate to 15 additional damage when proc, easily taking down foes. In terms of weakness, Lloyd has very low defense especially when fighting against a melee unit. He will receive a lot of damage from enemy's counter but it could be fixed with skill inheritance. Let's have a look at the recommended build for Lloyd. As for his weapon, Regal Blade will be unchanged due to his high damage and ability. Arden Sacrifice would be the preferred assist skill for this build as we will need it to work with his other new inherited passive. Because of his high resistance, his special will remain the same. Now for passives. It is recommended to give him life and death at slot A to boost his offensive attribute even more. With this, Lloyd's attack will be 55 and speed will be 42 when attacking a full HP foe. However, the penalty on his defense and resistance would make him take more damage from enemies. And that comes to our passive B, Desperation. It allows him to make a follow-up attack immediately during initiation so he could take down enemies before they could counter-attack, reducing the risk of receiving damage. As for his passive in C, you could let him inherit threatened defense to increase his damage. And with that, there's a chance that he could even take down armored unit too. Final thoughts? Lloyd is the fourth swordsman released from the Grand Hero Battle. Compared him with the previous two, which are Xander and Zephyr, he is way inferior in comparison. As a swordsman, he is just decent at best. Should you be using him heavily? Would you consider promoting him to 5 star? Let's discuss. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Aki Gaming for more interesting content. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.